Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we are going to be going over how to manually light your RV hot water heater when it doesn't have an automatic start. So if you have a gas hot water heater and it's manual, we're going to take you out there and show you exactly how to get that going right now. Whenever you're getting ready to light your hot water heater, it's important to make sure that your fresh water is turned on. If you're hooked up to a city connection, you're good to go. Just make sure you have pressure and that your hot water is completely full of water. If you're boondocking, you have to make sure that you turn on your water pump. It's also important after you've turned on your water pump or you're hooked up to a city water connection to turn on the hot water faucet and make sure that all the air is bled out of your system for the hot water. That way you're going to ensure that your hot water heater is completely full of water and you won't do any damage to the tank by running it dry. You also want to make sure that your propane is turned on. So we're going to go ahead and open up our valve there. So here we are outside of this 1982 Ford Jamboree and I'm going to show you how to ignite this hot water heater that doesn't have an automatic igniter. And so that means you have to go ahead and take a lighter and manually light the pilot so that you can begin using your gas to heat the water. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open this up. This particular one has a broken latch so it's just kind of screwed on there. But this is going to be your typical setup for an old school hot water heater. You're going to want to identify where your pilot light is and you can do this by following these smaller pipes here that are going to go back so your pilot light's going to be inside here right behind these two gas lines. It's also a good idea just to double check to make sure that your hot water heater is completely full of water and primed. You can do that by releasing a little bit of water out of your pressure release valve. Now that you've double checked that there's a uh, water in the line you've moved your camera far enough back so it doesn't get sprayed with water, um, you're going to go ahead and move this little adjustment knob and as you can see here it currently says off and so what you're going to do is rotate that you have to push it down a little bit and move it over to pilot and you can also see this red indicator mark here that's going to let you know where your knob is lined up too so then we're going to depress that fully and hold that and now your pilot light is active and ready to be lit you're going to have to continually hold this down while you light the pilot and even after you light the pilot for a short time until your heating element is warm enough to keep that pilot lit. It definitely makes things a little easier if you have an extension lighter like this. Otherwise, you might have to use a longer match. It's really hard to get a standard Bic lighter or anything like that in here to light your pilot. But now that we're all ready to go, you're going to want to depress your pilot light button, and then you're going to go ahead and want to just use your lighter to kind of get in there and light your pilot. It may take you a minute if you have any air in the line. You're just going to have to be patient and continually light it. Now that your pilot light's lit, you can kind of hear it going. And you can also verify that you see the blue flame. And you're going to want to continue to hold this button down for about a minute and a half or so until your pilot light warms up the heating element and then it's going to stay lit on your own. If you let go now, it will probably go out and you'll have to start over. Okay. And as you can see, the pilot light is now lit. You can see that little bit of a light blue flame right in there. And now that you've let your pilot light warm up for about a minute, you can go ahead and switch your control knob from pilot to the on position. And there you go. Now we have uh, our water heating up and you're going to be ready to do some dishes or take a shower or anything else after about, uh, oh, about 10 minutes for that to warm up the water. It's also important to note that you do have a temperature control knob. Yours may look different from this one since it's a very, it's a very old model, but it, you can go from low or to medium or to high, depending on how hot you want your water temperature. And that's it. Okay, so that wasn't bad. That was on an old 82 Ford Jamboree, but yours might be a little bit different, but the principle is gonna be the same. And here's a little tip for you if you're going out dry camping or boondocking where there's no water. Um, go ahead and fill up your fresh water tank before you leave, and then turn on your water pump and fill up your water heater, and then retop off your fresh water tank, and that just gave you an extra six gallons of fresh water to take with you on your trip. So there's a little tip for you. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. If this helped you out, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching, and happy camping.